Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and today we will be looking at leveraging Oracle integrations and process workflows with Oracle Content Management. Um, so I have two use cases, they're pretty straightforward. The first one is with the integrations. So we have Oracle Content Management. A user uploads a file to a repository which then triggers off an integration and within the integration logic there is a call back into Oracle Content Management to update the uh, item description. And then the second flow is we have an Oracle Content Management user uploads an image this time instead of a file which auto triggers a workflow and within Oracle Process Cloud, there is a multi-step approval process, goes to an approver, approver approves it, and after that, it, there is an update status call that is made back into content management. So let's take a look at the prerequisites. Uh, for both the flows, there are certain prerequisite steps that we need to complete. The first one being the integration call. Uh, you need a local IDCS service user and the URL of the integration. And we need to create what we call webhooks into the integrations. And then for the process call, uh, you need the service URL, service user password, same local IDCS service user. Um, and then an additional thing that we need is the client ID from the OIC IDCS application. So before we get into the demo, let's look at uh, the setup. So I have an integration here that is an app-driven integration exposed as a REST endpoint. So what I need to do is get the endpoint. This is the endpoint URL. I will copy this, go over to OCM, and within content management, I have a repository created to store the images and files. And for content management to auto kick off the integration based on an upload, uh, we need to go to integrations and within integrations there is webhooks and within webhooks uh, this is the one i created where you can specify the repository in this case it's the test repo that i created you can specify when to call this uh, currently i just have it when the item is created not on update delete or anything else you can then scroll down and enter the target URL here, which you got from Oracle integration, and then enter the basic auth credentials, just like I have done here. Now for the process workflow, we need to come here and click on the enable toggle here. And once you click that, it should bring you a pop-up like this, where you can enter the service URL. The service URL is as shown here the local IDCS user, uh, you need to enable workflows for assets, and you need to get the client ID. The way to get that is you need to go to IDCS admin console, then go to Oracle Cloud Services. Within that, search for your instance. In case, this is my instance. And within this, under configuration, you will find the client ID. Just copy that, paste it here, and click done and this will be enabled. After that, you will have to go to content under this menu, select content workflows, and click on register. When you click on register, this will go ahead and bring all the processes that are active within your process cloud instance. But here you can only register those processes that have at least one parameter called asset ID. For example, uh, this process does not have it. And if I try to register, this will fail saying that it does not contain asset ID. Because when you upload an asset to the repository, for it to kick off the process, it needs to pass in the asset ID. And that's what the process will use for further calls to update the asset back into Oracle Content Management. That's why asset ID is a mandatory field. 
You can also take advantage of the quick start applications to do some testing. These are pre-built step workflows which are de delivered within the tool. Uh, if you click on this, this will download a package which you can go into Process Cloud and then upload. And this package has multiple process applications which you can use as a starting point or to play around with. In this demo, I have used the one step and the two step processes which was within this zip file. Um, I uploaded it within Process Cloud and activated it. Once you're done registering the workflows, you'll have to go back to repository and map the workflow to the repository. So when you click on the repository under workflows, you will see you can add the workflows here and then you can do an automatic start or a manual start. In this case, I've done an automatic start when an image is uploaded, right? And then I can select which workflow I want to do. To keep it simple, I just have a one-step process. Now, since all the setup is done, let's move into the actual demo. I will first upload a file, and this file should kick off the integration flow, which will update the description. So let's look at the attributes first. And within the attributes, you will see that in the description, there is nothing, it's blank. I'm not adding anything as of now. Click on done. This will upload the, uh, the file here, which will then kick off an integration. And you'll see it succeeded. Now, if we go back to OCM and I just do a refresh here, you will see that the version changed to 0.2. And if we look at the properties, the description has been updated to here's the integration and the integration instance ID as well. So you can see here, that's the instance ID that was populated here. So that is how you can make an integration call from content management. And once you get the asset ID or any sort of identifier within your integration flow, there is a whole suite of REST APIs to manage the asset within content management, or if you want to send this to other applications, then Oracle Integration Cloud has 70 plus adapters where it can download this file, parse it, send it to any third party application or um, to any SFTP servers, or you know there's loads and loads of things that you can do within Oracle Integration Cloud. Now to show the second piece of the demo, which is when we upload an image, it will kick off an approval flow, which goes to an approver. Approver looks at the image, approves it, and then this status gets updated within content management. So here I am uploading a image. If I click on done, this will upload the image. And you will notice that the icon is a little bit different. If I hover over it, it says in review. So if I go back to my tasks, this is the integrations process cloud view. If I refresh, this will show my tasks. And since I'm an approver for this flow, you can see the OCE one step process flow task has just come in. And as you can see, I also get an email to view the task. If I click on view online, this will take me to that same screen. And this is a form that I have built within that flow. The flow that I downloaded from OCM did not have a form. So I just added an, a form for the approver to see uh, with the details coming from content management. This is the asset ID, the, the name of the asset. Um, I also added a link to the asset because from this view, the approver might want to see what the image looks like. So if I click this, this will show me that this is the image. Um, in this case, the approver will you know, accept it. Um, and that's why I click on approve. Once I click on approve, since this is a one-step process, this will go ahead and go back to content management and update this. So now if I refresh it, you will see that the icon changed to green and it says status is approved. So this view is more for the approver, uh, but if the original uploader of the file wants to see the workflow steps, then you can select the 
image click on workflows and if you click on the completed ones then this will show a history of the workflows that that went through so in this case i submitted it for review at this time the content approver approved it and it's completed and it comes with the timestamps dates and the person who approved and submitted the image another cool feature is for the webhooks if you go into the webhook that you created and click on event log then you will see the log of the events so basically when i uploaded the file and it called an integration um, this is the event id and i can download the log to see what payload was sent um, and go into granular details this is the process flow and this is the integration flow i hope this was helpful thanks for watching